Right, hello and welcome everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I've been doing anything in my car. Uh, while since was parked here, letting it warm up a little bit. Let me bring up the speed. Um, so I'm going to go now and see the guy who's been doing the work on my Triumph Spitfire and have a look at that. The chassis got delivered to him yesterday. This MG is now going into the paint shop as well. So I've got some bits and bobs in my car to take over to the, the fabricator. I've also then got to go and uh, drop this car off so that it can be ready for painting. So it's getting done exactly the same colour which is, you know what it is, it's the orange, it's the Bracken orange. I've got a brand new roof to put on it, and then this bad boy's going up for sale. So, if anyone's interested, hook me up in the messages, eh? Right, okay, I'm gonna put you forward and let's, uh, let's, let's enjoy this run out in this terrible weather. driving condition these ideally I would have liked to go on yesterday it was it was dry the beggars can't be choosy today yeah I got the puddle coming up I need a new wiper and that's split I've been quite busy doing my uh, tire split now, you must have seen from some of my videos. So I managed to get the chate done the other day, down to the point where I, uh, I spotted and marked out all the places of interest that wanted some um, some welding doing to it. So I'm also going to confirm that I'm going to go there today. I just take a, just a bit, brief bit of footage, I'm going to be going around the car so you can, I can do it on the phone, get a nice steady footage of it and then uh, I can put that into this video as well. Uh, oh. So it's been quite an extensive job this Spitfire, um, you know when you're in too deep, I'm in too deep, and there ain't no coming out, it's done but it should be back soon, I reckon another week, 7 to 10 days tops at this guy's place now. And then it's all back on the chassis mounted through, then it's off to the paint shop. I managed to find a decent guy, uh, shout out to Wade if you're watching this video mate. Uh, thanks for the the uh, special deal on the uh, moving my vehicle about because obviously it's going to need moving three times. So he hooked me up with a decent price. So I'm going to try and get, I'm going to get some pictures of this being done as well, so, you, so the new buyer can see how far he got, got done with the new paint job and stuff like that. Just so they know, peace of mind, I'm going to fully underseal it underneath, uh, grease it, make sure it's ready to go for the new owner for summer. Um, but I'll do a whole different video on that. Today's about going out to see the car, wasting me in the car, that's going to go get painted, yeah! Into getting, um, I've got to bring them up later today. I've been looking into insulating my metal garage roof because obviously it's, it's a damp bugger when it's the condensation. So I've looked in, there's a few people who say, well, you, you do like a dry membrane layer and then you, you put some insulation up, like an evaporation layer. There's other people saying that you can just go straight to it and then plywood it. There's other people saying, company that goes out and puts spray foam directly onto it now that that looks the job but that could be close to 560 pounds to have that done just to the size of a garage roof it's not something I can do myself I, I think I could buy them stuff but I don't think it's not like what these guys do the northwest foam sprayers so I'm going to inquire about that today I'm 
the other option I've got is to replace the box section roof I've got with insulated box section, which has got the foam already attached to it underneath, like, uh, like Kingsman foam. So there is that option. Uh, it's just trying to find, you know, that, that could cost me about 400 not pounds, or maybe 450 with the fitting and stuff, and then I've got to fit it myself. So it's like, do I really want to do that for the sake of the 50 pound saving? I'll just get these guys to come in and spray it. I don't know yet. So I've got to weigh them and get up yet. And my wife has gone right in the middle. <laughs> the big, big blur. So if you've got poor visibility, it's not exactly the best weather. Seems like this last two weeks have gone really quick with me having to get the shatter ready in time. All the decisions I've made, parts come in, the guy progressing so much with the car. Um, I've, I've just had to snap, 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 I've been doing it, doing it, doing it. It's not, you know, the sort of turnaround on this project's been really, really rapid. Um, it went to the welder, I was checking, went to the welder on the 20th of January, so we're like 24, 24 days in. We're back together, virtually, and, you know, and uh, ready to go back onto the chassis. Just waiting for me, still waiting for the rubber discs to come. So I, I rang them up yesterday uh, at Rimmers. They said they were showing in stock, so I made them release them as an order. So I can get them, so I presume I'll either come today or tomorrow, and then it'll be this journey I'm doing now. I'll either be doing it on the bus, put a mask on, or else I'll be doing it on a push bike. Or I could alternatively do it more than my dog. It's only five miles even direction. <laughs> it's supposed to be nice tomorrow, so if the weather's nice, it might be nice to go to cycle. So I've had a look at some videos about putting a new roof on. Looks quite fun.
Right, so we're here guys. So we're here at the moment, I'm now going to go in and have a, have a quick gander. I'll take this in as well, I might get some cookies on here, so I'll see you soon guys. <laughs> 